Rosenberg has warned us that this realness is going to be very real. And Mondays are already real enough. The stories coming the out the weekend were crazy. But let's get into it, Rosenberg. Let's deal with it because it's a real thing. Well, so I think after the Trayvon case, we all asked, well, what do we do now? What do we do now? Well, I think one thing we can do is pay attention to another case. Jury selection is going to be at the end of September. And pay attention to a trial that is more glaring. Glaring how? Meaning the white man who killed the black teenager was more obviously wrong. I know that sounds crazy. But he sort of makes George Zimmerman look like, oh, okay, I sort of understand that situation. That's how bad this situation is. All right, can okay? you give us some details for those that don't know? I can give you uh, details. Michael David Dunn was coming home from his son's wedding, a joyous occasion with his girlfriend. He's like a 50-year-old white dude. And guess what state? Florida. Florida. Uh, ah, the lovely. He had had three mixed drinks. His girlfriend thought he was okay to drive. He did. They pull into a shopping center, at which point they pull next to a car uh, in the parking lot. His girlfriend goes into the uh, Quickie Mart or whatever. Convenience store. He stays in the car. Okay. Three black teenagers in the car to his right or whatever, listening to Chief Keefe on blast. Loud. Don't get me wrong. That could upset me too. But the kid driving that car goes into the store. One kid sits in the front seat, and Jordan Davis is sitting in the back. Your man, Michael Dunn, decided he didn't like how loud the music was playing, asked them to turn it down. The kid in the front seat turned it down. Jordan Davis, being a teenager, said something idiotic. Turn it back up. They turn it back up. Uh, Michael Dunn gets upset, starts talking again. Going back and forth. White guy says something to black teenage kid in car playing music too loud. And Michael Dunn shot into that car eight times and killed Jordan Davis. What? Over loud music. 16-year-old kid. He was reaching for something, right? Didn't he say he thought the kid was reaching for something? Oh, yes. He said he pulled out a shotgun. Mm. But there was no gun and no witnesses saw a gun. And uh, the good news in this case is they already put him in jail. Like he, I think he's already currently in jail right now awaiting trial. So that's better than the Zimmerman circumstance because they weren't even going to press charges against Zimmerman. And his girlfriend is uh, going to be the state's witness. She's going to be a part of the prosecution's plan mm. because she's going to tell some of the things that he had said to her right away when they drove off that is damning evidence against him. Uh So there is a good chance. But however, I was just reading about this. He is using stand your ground. This will be a stand your ground case. Mm -hmm. And he will be standing his ground even though he started a fight with children over the loudness of their music. So we have to pay attention to this for several reasons. One of which, of course, is to see if whether or not, whether again, we will find out that it is okay for middle-aged white men to kill black children. Okay. And number two, whether we actually have to get all of our loved ones out of the state of Florida and just blow the whole bitch up. <laughs> wake up, New York. Yo, wake up, New York. The Hot 97 Morning Show.